as your iPad will either have a single USB Type-C or Lightning port. In order to connect to a USB flash drive, more than likely you will need some sort of connector. As the flash drive that we will be using has a USB Type-A connector, the adapter that we will be using is a USB-A to USB-C connector. The reason we chose this adapter is that it has an indicator light on the top of the unit. Let's connect the flash drive to the adapter. We can now connect the adapter and the flash drive to our iPad. We will know that the flash drive has been connected to our iPad because the indicator light on the adapter will light up. Now from our iPad, if we locate and select Files, when Files loads, if we look at the side panel, under the heading Locations, we should see listed our USB flash drive. When we select our flash drive, its contents is displayed. To be able to read the contents of the file, we simply need to select it. If we place and hold our finger on the file, a quick menu is displayed. Within the quick menu, you will find all of the main commands typically associated with a file manager application. So for example, let's make a copy of the file and save it to our iPad. If we select on my iPad and hold our finger down on the main panel to display a quick menu, we are presented with a number of options that include paste. By selecting paste, we save a copy of our file to the iPad. The same process can be done in reverse. So if we have downloaded or created a file on our iPad, we can copy that file to our flash drive. As the same copy of the file already exists on our flash drive, just like a Windows or Apple Macintosh computer, we are asked if we wish to replace, keep both, or stop the action. Let's choose replace. With our file now copied to our flash drive, we can remove the drive from our iPad.